In this video, we are going to talk about AC drive control, controlling operation and frequency using a SCADA screen. So the PLC which we are using is Micronologics 1400, which is having an analog card, IF2, OF2 as an external module. And the drive we are using is PowerFlex 4M, this one. Okay. So we have to control the start-stop operation and frequency of this drive using the SCADA screen. Okay. So for that, we have made a ladder logic. This is a ladder logic, a very simple with bits and latching and latching principles. And this is a scaling for analog output. Okay. So the relevant tags which we have made in this diagram is, I can show the tag here. We have one is the reverse tag B3 colon 0 slash 2, which is given to this reverse. This is a bit. RPM tag is N7 colon 2 given here. This is scaled to 0 to 40 RPM. And one of the one of the tag is frequency input, which is over here. Analog N7 column 0. Alright, N7 column 0 is a 0 to 50 hertz, which you are giving by the slider. The slider is uh, your it's controlling the frequency of the drive and these two meter indications are the same indication of the slider with this LED display. These are not the feedback because we do not have feedback in this model of the VFD. We can only control it. So this is just a, a metric, metric display meet in, uh, display in the meter of the frequency. Alright, so let's see how this will work. First I have to press the main button. This main button is going to actuate this bit, this main bit, okay, which will allow further forward reverse button to actuate or deactuate the output. Now when I press on forward here you can see that drive has started running at the frequency which is mentioned in the slider. Forward is running because if you see the close lead has three LEDs. Okay, The first one is for run, second is for forward, third is for reverse. So this is running and running in forward direction. Okay, Now this drive is connected to a conveyor Right, which I can show you later on. When I press on reverse, this will make the drive running in reverse direction. So you can see that this below LED on, this is the indication of reverse at the frequency 13 hertz. All right. Now let me just shrink that for a while and I can show you the frequency variation. Now this is at 13. When I take it beyond, this is going to 21. So this will accelerate to 21. And you can see that 21 is here and this RPM is 17 RPM. Because the motor we are using is having 1350 RPM maximum but having a gear ratio, uh, a gearbox having gear ratio of 40. So that is fixed. So that's why RPM is 17. Now even increase to 29 RPM, 29 frequency which leads to 23 RPM of the motor. Now this RPM of the motor you can see, I can just adjust the camera so that, so that you can see the motor as well. That's the conveyor and that's the motor we have connected here. Alright, now this is running in one direction. If I want this to run in forward direction, I can click on forward. So motor will deaccelerate and then it will run in forward direction. Alright, and the frequency is going to increase to 29. Very soon, this is 29 hertz. If I want to decrease the frequency, it will deaccelerate to frequency 13 or the RPM 10. This is the gear gearbox. All right, you can achieve maximum RPM by having 50 yards, which leads to 40 RPM. So this is the maximum RPM of the motor. And if you press this button, stop. This will stop the drive. So this is actually actuating and deactuating these outputs of the PLC. So now the drive stops. All right. So this was about how to integrate analog outputs to a VFT and control your motor by having a variable speed input slider. Alright, if you have any doubt in this video, you can put me a comment. I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much.